it will be no surprise to a lot of you to see what is in this bait tub is what I use a majority of the time that I go carp fishing. I've got hemp, I've got sweet corn, and I've got crushed boilies, but there is a few subtle differences that I've made, certainly on this particular session down here at Thorny Weir, that I wouldn't necessarily do on other venues that I go to. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is the boilies are not washed out. Before any trip, I always wash a certain amount of boilies out, maybe one or two kilos, just in case I end up using them. But as it happens, it is a lot weedier here on Thorny Weir than I first anticipated. And all the while using mulched up boilies, washed out boilies is very, very good. The one issue that I feel that I would have here is by mulching up a washed out boilie, they have become very, very heavy. What I want and what I'm trying to achieve with this mix is to make it as light as feasibly possible so it lands on top of the weed. Certainly for the start of the trip anyway, because the last thing that I want to be doing is putting all my bait out, it's sinking down through the weed and the fish having to work really hard to siphon the bait from the weed. I want to make the bait as light as I possibly can so it lies on top of the weed. The fish eat the bait from the top of the weed and over the course of the session, they're going to clear the area off. And you know what? After a couple of bites, I'd be more than happy to start introducing some mulched up bait into the mix. And then to finish the mix, I've got hemp and sweet corn with a little dose of manila liquid in that as well. Again, two proven items of bait that I use in my mixes, 99.9% .9 of my fishing. And I know with this mix that when I put it out there, it's gonna be sitting nice and presented over the weed. And moving on as well, much like I've done here, and I'm sure all of you guys will come across this at some point, the lake is extremely weedy and it's been very, very hard to find a clear spot. So what I've done is I've found the clearest possible spot that I could. But I know by introducing this bait, on a little and often basis that when the fish come over it, it will in fact help you to create a bit of a clear spot. And I'm almost certain that by the time I end up finishing this particular session, the spot that I'm fishing that was once quite weedy will be like a dinner plate by the time that I've ended fishing here. So there you go, that is the mix that I'm using and why I'm using that particular mix down here on Thorny Weir. Now, one other thing that you'll notice is that I'm preparing the bait in a bait tub and when I'm measuring the bait out, I'm actually quite precise in how much I'm putting in each time. Now I am dropping this via a bait boat. It is very, very easy, certainly with Cecil the Vessel, to get a little bit excited because the hopper will hold up to five kilos. And much like if I'm spawning bait out, and I see this on so many different occasions with so many anglers, they'll start off with five spawns, they'll catch a fish, put 10 spawns out, then they won't catch anything else for a little while. One of my biggest, biggest pieces of advice in carp fishing is to always remain consistent. So every single time, regardless if I'm rebaiting the rod or I'm redropping the rod, I will use exactly the same amount of bait every time. And what I've made in this bait tub is probably the equivalent of about three midi X bombs, which is what I'd normally be using should I be putting it out via a spawn. And one final thing, the reason why I'm making it up in a bait tub is because I like to prepare all my bait in one area. So by preparing it into a bait tub, I can make it in here, take it over to the bait boat, and it's far easier to tip from a bait tub into the hopper than what it is with a great big bucket. And all it means is there's no mess around the front of the swim, there's no bait line around everywhere, and I can keep everything nice and neat, nice and compact, and remain consistent every single time.